In fact, there exists a highly efficient motor with energy conversion efficiency of virtually 100%. What is more, it rotates at a maximum speed of 1500 revolutions per second, far faster than even the fastest Formula One race car engine. A bacterial flagellar motor with a diameter of only 40 nanometers, it is composed of protein molecules. Two micrometer sized bacteria rotate its flagella of 10 to 15 micrometers in length to achieve motility. Bacterial flagella are composed of about 30 different proteins. First, a protein called Fly F forms a rotor ring in the cell membrane. Fly F self assembles to form the ring which then becomes the foundation for other proteins to attach, which in turn becomes the foundation for the attachment of others. The self-assembly takes place in methodical order through the accurate recognition of appropriate others. With the motor in place as the foundation, the filament that acts as the propeller is then formed of proteins called flagellin. With the help of a capping protein at the tip, Flagellin molecules, sent out from the cell body through the central channel of the motor, stack up to form a helical tubular structure. The structure, revealed by electron microscopy, was very much like an artificial motor, with its stator, rotor, and bushing, and surprised the world. Image analysis of electron micrographs of straight flagellar filaments led to a three-dimensional image near atomic level. The central channel of the filament was extremely small, only two nanometers in diameter. Self-assembly of the flagellum, which grows out of the cell, always occurs at its distal growing end. The component proteins are produced inside of the cell and sent out to the tip through the central channel. The proteins are unfolded for insertion into the channel and then refolded at the distal end. Where then is the export apparatus? Research on flagellar protein export had been progressing extremely slowly until recently. All of these experiments have shown that flagellar protein export occurs in the following manner. First, fly I associates with two fly H molecules. A flagellar protein to be exported also binds to them, and this ternary protein complex binds to the C ring and waits for the export gate to become disengaged. When the export gate is free and available, the ternary protein complex docks to the export gate together with free fly HI complexes that are floating nearby or attaching to the C ring. The gate is closed when it is free. However, it opens when the fly HI hexamer ring complex binds to it and efficiently inserts the amino terminus of the flagellar protein into the gate. Later, fly H and fly I detach from the export gate through ATP hydrolysis. The export gate utilizes proton motive force to send flagellar proteins into the channel. It unfolds flagellar proteins into long stretched chains for export into the 2 nanometer channel. Once the whole chain is within the channel, it is transported to the distal end of the flagellum. Meanwhile, the fly HI complexes that have detached from the export gate bind another flagellar protein and bring it to the waiting circle on the C ring, repeating the cycle of binding and release for efficient export. The flagellar proteins exported in this way bind one after another to the distal end. The flagellum becomes longer and it eventually becomes possible for the bacteria to swim.
the rotation of the motor is transmitted to the flagellar filament with a gentle helical structure to generate propulsion. The hook acts as a universal joint so that the torque can be transmitted regardless of the orientation of the flagellar filament. Bacteria can swim about freely because of this. What is the mechanism here? The structure of the hook was studied in detail to learn the secret. The hook is a tube of 55 nanometers in length in which roughly 130 hook protein subunits are bonded together. This is the atomic model of the hook. The D2 domains of the hook protein are strongly bonded to one another on the hook surface to form the right-handed six-stranded helices, much like a spring, and they form a kind of mesh structure with the D1 domains on the inside. This is what brings about the rigidity against torsion. While there is a large variation in the length of the flagellar filament, the length of the hook is almost constant at 55 nanometers. Mutants with hooks longer or shorter than 55 nanometers cannot swim properly. So how then do hooks have the predetermined length of 55 nanometers? The mechanism that determines hook length is as follows. First, Hook protein molecules are efficiently exported and the hook becomes nearly 55 nanometers in length. The autocatalytic cleavage of flu B slows down the export of hook protein. Then several fly K molecules are exported to measure hook length. In other words, the cleavage of flu B works as a molecular timer that controls the speed of hook protein export. As you can see, the precision mechanisms for constructing biological nanostructures are becoming clarified. <laughs>